residents living just south of County Line Road and Monument say they have been trapped in their homes for two days because of the storm. News 5's Maggie Bryan spoke with one private snow removal company that's trying to help people, but they say they're overwhelmed too. The snow is done falling in El Paso County, but the cleanup work may take a few days. We've been out, I mean, pretty consistently for the past three days. It's keeping private snow removal companies extremely busy as calls keep coming in. The past two days, at least 500. They're calling from everywhere. For sure, it's just so much snow, nobody can get out. The CEO of Stone and Flower says residents from all over the county are asking them for help just to get out of their driveways. Customers are saying they've never seen this much snow in this short a period of time ever. Some people living in neighborhoods just south of County Line Road here in Monument say they've been stuck in their homes for two days now. They say the snow is just too heavy and thick to clear. And if you don't have four wheel drive, forget about it. They say county plows haven't been able to make it to these roads yet. There are some drifts that are over three feet, but I would say in some areas there's a good 30 inches of snow. We talked with one neighbor over the phone because we couldn't make it to his house. We don't want to be stuck in an emergency where God forbid something happens and how are they going to get up here? He says he hired a snow removal company to help out, but they said they won't be there until Sunday. El Paso County Public Works told News 5 crews just started working on priority two roads. They say plows will likely get to residential roads over the weekend. As for Colorado Springs, the city says they finished up with secondary roads and school zones today and will begin clearing residential roads starting tonight. For now, private companies like Stone and Flower are helping out as best as they can, but they say it takes time. With this type of snow, probably two hours for a driveway and sidewalks on an average size house. And their crews need breaks too. It's becoming unsafe for our employees to continue to work this many hours in, you know, cold conditions. In El Paso County, I'm Maggie Bryan, News 5.